Hey friends, you are with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and today we are going to use our Cricut Joy and those little pieces of leftover vinyl that you probably have a ton of to make labels for our phone chargers. So with everything that's going on right now, we're all home, we're working from home, the kids are going to school from home, we're doing our online learning and there are, um, you know, the chargers are sitting everywhere and I'm not saying anybody's doing it on purpose, but some chargers go missing. <laughs> so I am putting labels on all of the phone chargers. So let's hop over to Cricut Design Space. I'll show you what we're up to, and then we'll hop over to the craft table and get busy. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space, and I've been playing around with this a little bit. So uh, for the kids, I have uh, these Mickey Mouse um, ears which and if you want to do a design like this just make sure you pick something very simple basic and something that's either rectangle or circular now um, this is going to make you know the monogram inside just a little bit smaller so what I'm going to do for my husband and I is I'm going to go into images and I am going to um, search circles and I would mind to have something a little more frilly, but I'm sure my husband's going to want something super simple. <laughs> so I am going to choose for him this circle, which is just an outline of a circle. Um, and then for myself, I'm thinking about doing something a little more frilly, like this is really pretty. Um, but I think I'm going to go with the full scallop. Yeah, even the starburst kind of thing here is cool. But there are just a ton of choices. So pick something that is simple and let's hop back in and I'll show you what we're gonna do with these. Okay, so for the kids, I chose fonts that were somewhat, um, you know, kid-like or looked like Disney for these. Um, and I'm gonna do all of these in black um, just because, well, we like black and white, everything, it makes it easy, right? Okay, so what I wanna do though is I want to um, take each design so let's say grabbing the Mickey ears and the A let's do the A first and then we'll grab both okay and so what I am going to do is slice so instead of having to use a black and a white I want to take the A out of the Mickey Mouse head so now I have in my layers the slice result so I want to delete the slice delete both and now you can see the grid behind it and that's because it is now one piece and the A is actually cut out of the center. Now let's do that same with our C and our Mickey Mouse head and we will slice and then we're going to take our result and we're going to delete both of those and you can see the grid behind it. Now for me I am going to use a little more girly font. I like one that's called Friday and there's one also that's called Monday. Odd that it's like the days of the week, right? And I'm going to pull it on to my circle. I'm going to change the color to white so that I can see it. And then I'm just going to tug at the corners. Now remember that this is a very small cut, right? So don't get anything too whimsical or too girly. Okay, and now we're going to slice and I am going to delete the result and you can see the grid behind it so it's one piece and then for the hubby I'm actually going to um, just use a very basic very basic font I'm actually thinking about using one that's called varsity and we will just make it larger and because this is the framework or the outline of a circle, I don't have to slice this one. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to, well, we don't have to do that, right? <laughs> what am I saying? This one I had to because it was two different elements. I want them to cut at the same time. And now um, when we hop over to Cricut Design Space, we can measure the charger, but I can tell you that it is roughly one inch by one inch. So I want to reduce each of these and probably just more effective if I go up and do it here. Okay. Okay, and then I'll do the same. So what did I make that one? 0.889. 
So we'll do the same for this one. Okay. And then for mine. Oops. And the same for my husband's. I'm wondering if I should do these even a little bit smaller. We're going to go 0.75. Now, as you can imagine, these are small, tiny little cuts. So those little pieces of vinyl that you have laying around are perfect for this. Okay. And so now all we need to do is um, make sure that we're on the right machine. We'll go to Cricut Joy and select Make It. And we are going uh, with a mat because we're using piece. Okay, but look at that. Really, like you could even use the tiniest little piece of smart vinyl, right? <laughs> it all fits on that top row. Actually, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking I can make those little um, Mickey Mouse guys even a little bit larger. See how they're not quite as big as the um, circles? So I'm going to actually cancel and go back and make those guys just a smidge bigger, 0.8. It probably has something to do with the ears. Okay, so then let's make it. And we're going to do it on a mat. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's hop over to the Cricut, just hop over to the craft table, <laughs> and we'll put this all together. Okay, so here we are on the craft table, and we only need a couple of things for this project. Um, we're going to need our Cricut Joy mat. Um, we need, of course, our Cricut Joy, our vinyl, a small piece of transfer tape, and our charger. And of course, I do have a weeding tool as well. And um, one thing I wanted to let you guys know is I thought I had um, a piece of Smart vinyl. I didn't, and what I had was actually black um, iron-on, Smart iron-on. So we are using a traditional piece of um, vinyl. Okay, so let's go ahead and put it on the mat and we'll feed it into the Joy. Remember, the Joy has no buttons, so you'll need to use your mobile device or um, click go on your computer. So this is super simple. With vinyl, we're just going to place it right side up. And um, the other thing to note is that I decided um, well, because this was a different piece of material, I actually moved my uh, decals around a little bit because um, the piece I thought I had was this long, and of course now it's this long. So that's the thing with scraps. You're going to have to, you know, sort of adjust um, to make sure that you can use all of your materials. Okay, so I've unloaded my mat, and now what I want to do is I want to remove the vinyl from the mat. So I'm going to bend the mat, not the vinyl. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away the negative space with my weeding tool. And it's best on something this small to take the larger piece first. Let's see if we can get underneath there. And, and again, these are so tiny. Um, I want to be careful with them. Okay. Take that apart. Fantastic. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is pick a design and we'll go ahead and put that onto. I'm just gonna take that one out and we're gonna cut that one away from the larger piece. And the next one, we're going to go ahead and take out the interior. There we go. That was pretty easy weeding. Okay, and then we're going to take our scissors and cut it away. And we'll take our transfer tape. Down with our fingers. And 
some real crafting here. Sometimes it takes a minute. There we go. Just go slow. There we go. Okay, so now we have our K, and then we're just going to place the transfer tape onto the charger. Push that down with our fingers. Okay, and then we're going to peel at an angle. Perfect. Okay, so I hope that was a good use of your leftover vinyl. And if you are interested in the Cricut Joy and you don't have one of those yet, I have an unboxing video that you can hop over and check out. I also have um, several crafts that I've done with the Cricut Joy. So make sure you hop down in the description below and I have a list of those there. And I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and join me every week for new videos. See you guys next time.